good evening, Word Church. I pray y'all is well, and welcome to another session of Dinner with Danielle. I have tonight for you a different way to consider cooking your collard greens. If you're like me and my family, because that's how you pass down your cooking patterns, you probably boil your collard greens or mustard greens or turnip greens. I'm gonna introduce you to a different, healthier way of doing that. And tonight, we're going to saute our collard greens. But first, let me share some interesting information I found out in my vegetable Bible, appropriately named Bible. And um, we typically associate collard greens with the South but they're actually native to Asia Minor, and they're a staple in Brazil, Portugal, India, and East France. Now, as you know, there's a lot of iron and vitamins in collard greens or green leafy vegetables in general, but collard greens actually contain some of the highest levels of vitamin K. Why is that important to know? If you're on any type of anticoagulant medication, like warfarin, um, coumadin is another name for warfarin, you wanna be concerned about increasing your le levels of vitamin K. It could cause your readings to be inaccurate or for your doses to go too high or too low, depending on what your body's normal intake of vitamin K is. So make sure you keep that in mind if you decide to cook your greens this way because when you boil them, you boil out a lot of the nutrients. Unless you're drinking the, um, the pot liquor, as my grandmother used to call it, then you're getting those nutrients. But if not, if you're gonna eat them this way, it's actually going to be more vitamin rich and it might bump your vitamin K levels up. So be careful of that. But I just least want to share that with you, but collard greens are a wonderful source of just about every type of nutrient that you would need. So let's get started. Tonight we are sipping on a Malbec Reserve. Delish. So cheers. Not too bad. I don't know that I need to buy that one again. So what I have done, and I think I've shared this with you before, how I like to cut this, the stalk out and so I literally just cut the stalk out and I like just to eat the leaves. But with these type of collard greens, you can definitely eat both the stalk and the leaves, whatever your preference is. So where I'm going to start today, it's gonna be very simple and easy to do. I have, instead of my normal staple of salt and pepper, I'm gonna be using um, lemon pepper, but it's salt free. So lemon pepper, I like the taste of lemon pepper when I saute green leafy vegetables. And then of course, I have my 100% pure avocado oil. So let's get started. I am just gonna take a few of these to start with because I like for them to be nice and crispy and I don't like to put too many in the plate at one time. So I am cutting my greens simply like this. So I'm just folding them in half. I'll put a few on top of each other and then I'm just cutting them like this. Now these will not wilter down in size like if you were boiling it. So just be sure that you don't put too much in your sauteing pan, thinking that it's going to cook down like you did if it was in water. It's not, it's a healthy, I mean, it's a health, heartier leaf than something like spinach. And as you know, spinach has a great deal of water in it, um, like cucumbers, but this will not to that degree. So I am simply going to line this with a healthy amount of avocado oil. Get that going. continue to cut this up. Um, I guess D-Nice doesn't like to be on the radio as much as he used to, 
He's been doing a lot of interviews lately, so we're back to my favorite genre of music, which is traditional jazz. I'm not a smooth jazz fan, but if you give me a jazz tune with all the instruments doing their own thing, the, the upright bass, the drum, the trumpet, the saxophone, just all of it just puts me in such a happy mood. Two things I love to cook with, music and wine. So we want this to get to a nice temperature. Ooh, sorry about that. It has nothing in it that doesn't balance that well. And then I like to actually add my seasoning at the bottom and on top. Don't ask me why. I don't even I don't even remember seeing like my mom or my grandmother doing that. It's just me being psychotic. That's all right. The Lord still loves me. All right. Let's keep it moving. I think this is all I'm going to cut up for now. And I'm not going to put all of this in my pan. As I mentioned before, this it would be too much. So this is what it's looking like afterwards. It almost looks like you would do for a salad. And you actually could eat these as a salad. It would be a little tough to a degree, but if you like crunchy salads like I do, I like all of my vegetables and some of my fruit crunchy, you can do just that. And then I'm going to add And the beautiful thing about not putting a lot of food on your plate is that if you get hungry, you can go back to seconds, you can go back to thirds. But what it does do, it allows your stomach to send signals to your brain that you've eaten and that you're no longer hungry. Otherwise, if you put too much on your plate at once, you're going to eat it all at once. And there's a delay between the signals in your stomach and the signals in your brain, and then you actually could have gone to you actually could have accumulated a lot more calories than your body even desired or need all right ah, it's full of nutrients now 
If you absolutely have to have some salty meat with this, that's okay. Whatever your preference is, you could pre-cook bacon and then you can, you know, um, not crispy, but you know, pre-cook it so you can cook as much fat out of it as possible. Then you can slice it and then throw it in there because when you saute it together, it'll cook, it'll cook a little longer. Or if you like um, another type of meat, maybe you have um, smoked turkey. I used to use smoked turkey several years back. Uh, you could do that too. You would have to take some, cut some slices off and put it in there. But whatever you like to do, you can still just saute it. You don't have to steam, I mean, um, boil it. And again, it has all those nutrients. And again, I think it took me all of like 10 minutes to create this deal. Okay, so this was a little cheap. This was already done. <laughs> took about 70 minutes in my pressure cooker to make my navy, my northern beans, but it didn't take much time. And as you'll see, it did cook down a little bit, but not significantly. Nice and crunchy, packed full of flavor. All we had was lemon pepper, no salt. My beans are salty enough where I don't need to add salt. So depending on what you're eating with this, you might wanna add a little bit of salt, but please don't add a lot. Salt can increase your blood pressure. Salt also adds to water retention. These are good. Now, and the beans are delicious. <laughs> I'm biased. I will say that if you do start to eat a lot of salt, there's a lot of adverse events that can happen. Your body just needs to maintain a very small window of hydration as far as it's concerned with the electrolytes that it, you have. And so salt can shift that in either direction. It can pull more water in or it can make you urinate it out. There's a whole lot of different things. And it also depends on what other comorbid condition states you have. So be smart about how you cook. Cook for health, not for taste. I tell my daughters that all the time. We, we live to eat. I said that backwards. We eat to live, we don't live to eat. And like today I had to give them um, a protein shake. I use the um, vegan protein shakes. You can get these at, um, I, well I get them from Lifetime. These are Lifetime vegan protein shakes. And to, pro to their surprise, they're like, mommy, it doesn't taste so bad. I'm like, good, that's the goal. I don't wanna give them something that's disgusting but my goal is not for them, to their, their palate to just be like, oh, this is so delicious. And there's a, there's a science behind that because when you start to stimulate all of this dopamine, if it starts to get released while you eat certain foods, you'll continue, continue to desire those foods and potentially con continue to eat them more often than you should. Although I guess it's not a bad issue to desire greens but most people don't get that dopamine release from eating just simply seasoned vegetables. Be great if they did though, right? Well, Word Church, I think that's all I have for you today. Really simple and easy. Again, I didn't have to add any salt because I had salt already in my beans, but it's delicious, healthy, packed full of nutri nutrients, great with wine. Now this helps with my dopamine release. Take care and as always, stay prayerful, especially with everything that's going on in our world. I pray every day for a radical mi miracle to eradicate racial inequalities. That's my prayer. It can happen because our God answers our prayers. So thank you.
Have a great weekend, and I look forward to seeing everyone soon in person. Good night.